Many have already started describing it as quite revealing and damning. So first of all, mm. uh, what are some of the highlights? Well, walk us through how this report was in first right, put so together. Martin, you know that since COVID-19 came into Ghana and we sort of came out of the woods, if you like, there's been a pressing demand uh, to conduct a comprehensive audit on Ghana's COVID-19 funds. Indeed, some uh, civil society organizations say that the lack of the comprehensive audit is fueling claims of embezzlement related to Ghana's management of the funds. Well, we have it now. Mm. This is a report on the audit of the government of Ghana COVID-19 expenditure for the period of March 2020 to June 2022. And then now we know that according to the report, in all, a total amount of some 21 billion cities. And as we talk, we'll be seeing some of the slides too on uh, our screens. The total amount of 21 billion cities was mobilized by the government of Ghana to fight COVID-19. And that came from the World Bank, it came from IMF, uh, the African Development Bank, European Union, mm -hmm. and the sale of uh, BOG COVID-19 bonds for the 2020 and 2021 uh, fiscal year. So it came from various sources. Now, mm -hmm. out of the 21 billion amounts that government mobilize. Uh, the report says that 11 billion out of that was spent on COVID activities, and then the rest was spent on budget support. We know that when mm. COVID 19 came, you know, it affected the economy and it, it brought the economy on its knees. So, some other amount, about 11 billion, was also allocated to, you know, help shore up the economy of the country. Right. So, uh, we also I mean, glancing through the report, we see specifics like mm. vaccines uh, were supposed to have been procured. There were those we got for free as a country. But what exactly does the report say about the vaccines? Well, there's a dire revelation about, you know, the vaccines, how much Ghana paid for and all of that. I'll walk you through what strikes me the most when it comes to the vaccine. So we know that Ghana paid for some of the vaccines, you know, uh, the health minister, you know, the allegations that came back and forth with that. Now, we paid for 81.8 million worth of COVID-19 vaccines. Mm. That has not been delivered yet. You mean in excess of 80 million Yes, 80 CDs million paid. paid already, but that has not been delivered yet. I'm, mind you, I'm talking about the report. This is what the Auditor General's report, report is saying. So mm. it noted that the Ministry of Health on behalf of the government of Ghana paid that amount to, you know, to help get vaccines into uh, the country. But that has not happened yet from mm. uh, UNICEF and then AVAT. We have mm. not gotten that. And then the Auditor General is recommending that the Chief Director of the Ministry of Health should uh, renegotiate with UNICEF to recover the outstanding amount. If we will not need the vaccines now, then we should get the monies back. Mm. The, there was a portion that captured issues regarding medical supplies. So beyond just the vaccines, we also needed some medical supplies. Exactly, Martin. What? So in the report, as part of efforts to fight COVID-19, we needed a lot of supplies, just like the vaccines, to help, you know, protect the citizenry and all of that. Mm -hmm. For medical supplies, although we needed a lot, it appears that we got more than we needed because mm -hmm. over $5 million worth of medical supplies that were sent to the Noguchi Memorial Institute remain unused. And I'm not talking about, as of the time, the report was compiled by the auditor general. So uh, they paid some amounts for some supplies to come into the country for the procurement of medical supplies for the Noguchi Memorial Institute for Medical Research and College of Health Sciences at the University of Ghana. Mm. Now, the examination of the Auditor General examines, reveals that funds were used for the intended purposes. So that amount, uh, some $13 million dollars, mm were used for the purposes that it was intended for to be used. But out of that, the $5 million worth of medical supplies, they are still at the Noguchi Memorial Institute for Medical Research, and they are yet to be used. They include antigen test kits uh, that is valued at some $3 million. Uh, and then the AG is recommending that the medical director should ensure that those items are utilized in any way possible, let us get our monies back. Right. And within the period, we also put in procurement bids to get some ambulances into the country. Exactly, Michael. So we, according to the report, you noted that the ministry entered into a contract on, uh, that happened on the 15th of December 2021 for the supply of 26 Toyota uh, Deluxe Ambulance valued at some $4 million, out of which the country paid 607000 US dollars. Mm. It was paid via... Uh, PV number IPF that was paid on September 2, okay. 2022, last year. 
so to be delivered on 15th January 2022. However, the ambulances remained undelivered as of November 28, 2022. Mm. So although that amount, some $607,000, has been paid, the country is yet to receive those mm. ambulances. Now, here's the catch. You know that the current global economic challenges, it is likely that you know, the people selling to us those ambulances could decide that because of that, we're increasing the cost of the ambulances yeah. or we're decreasing the quantity of ambulances that the country is going to get. Or it is also going to affect the quality of health care that we're getting into the country. So management decided that upon technical inspection by the World Bank, additional uh, specifications had to be made for mm. the ambulances that were supposed to come into the country. But that has not come yet. And then according to the... Ministry of Health and the Ghana Health Service, the ambulances that were supposed to get us, that would pay the $607,000 for, they're supposed to come by March 2023. So okay. the AG is recommending that that deadline should not pass, Martin. Okay. All right. So uh, clearly there are many more um, outstanding components of this report that mm. uh, we'll be revealing to our uh, viewers and listeners and readers on our website across the world. Also, uh, maybe in conclusion, there were some other misappropriations according to the report. Mm -hmm. For instance, we are told that, that the Ministry of Local Government and Rural Development, for instance, expended some 285 million Ghana cities on non-COVID related activities. Mind you, uh, viewers, this report totally captures what Ghana did throughout the the COVID period when we as a country uh, were hit and then the finances we managed to put together and how it was expended. So uh, would you want to briefly also touch on the... Yes, I'll, I'll, I'll touch on that. But let's talk about the Ministry of Information. So there's all, there've also been a mention in the report that we're talking about funds that went into pockets that did not deserve. So we know that uh, front care health workers, they were allocated some amounts of money to, to motivate them in the fight against COVID-19. Now, the Ministry of Health, some uh, senior staff there, contrary to the directive of the president for frontline health workers, they received also some amounts of money. They paid themselves a total amount of 151,500 cities as COVID-19 risk allowance for the report puts it as coming to work during the COVID-19 lockdown period and that is contrary to the president's directives uh, from the office. You remember in the president directives in their uh, fellow Ghanaians, mm. you know, addresses. Mm. So that is also something that strikes the attention of many on social media. A lot of reactions are also uh, coming from, from that angle as well. They're also looking at some amounts that were also paid to some chiefs, okay? So although mm. we may not call them frontline workers and when COVID-19 came, we're all asked to stay in our various homes. So, with the role that uh, some local authorities uh, played in, you know, reducing the impact of, of COVID-19, some uh, chiefs in the various um, places, the various areas. areas, they also received some amounts of monies that were wrongly disbursed or that should not have gotten to them mm. in the first place. So these are just a few of the numerous concerns, the infractions that the Auditor General is capturing in this report. And it is a 119-page document. Mm. I think if you can, everybody should get a copy of the report and then read for yourself, you know, what the country is, uh, has put its money into and how that is not, you know, bringing us the, mm. the results that we desire, Martin. All right. Uh, clearly, in the coming days, we'll also try and uh, give you a further breakdown of year-by-year uh, -year expenses of how that money was used because we know in 2020 a specific amount was used in 2021 and then in 2022. This is the Auditor General's report between March 2020 and June 2022 about how Ghana as a country expended some 21.8 billion CDs on its fight against COVID-19. We'll give you further breakdown on, also on our website in the coming days. Uh, thank you very much. And uh, before uh, Crosby takes leave of us, uh, some other revelations? Yes, yes a, a lot of revelations, Martin. <laughs> so we know that we constructed treatment centers and isolation centers to use in the management of COVID-19. As of the time that this report was put together by the Auditor General, three treatment and isolation centers uh, completed at a total cost of 29 million cities they were yet to be put to use. So the buildings are there, fully So the facilities are ready? Ready to be then, used, but 
they are not users. They, are, mm. they, are, they cost the country 29 million cities. You spoke about the Ministry of Local Government and Rural Integration. Well, they paid in excess of 285 million cities. They had that money, but they did not use it for COVID-19 related activities. Mm. So it raises the questions as to so what the monies what, yeah. were used for. Yeah. These are just a few of the infractions captured in the Auditor General's report, Martin. All right. Uh, thank you very much, um, Noble Crosby. And, and so what we've, we've been doing in the last few minutes is just to give you an appreciation of the um, COVID report that has been released by the Auditor General that captures how much we put together as a country, how, how that was expended in the various years, in the various sectors, and the specifics as uh, even to how much we put out to buy ambulances. Our website, 3news.com, has details and then also in subsequent bulletins will give you further breakdown.